All right, everybody, if you're watching this, you know why we're here, the PlayStation Showcase that we've been waiting for for a cool minute now. Um, I'm not going to live stream it. I am so tired of getting flagged for all the copyrighted music in these trailers, so I'm just going to watch it, edit it together, <laughs> make sure I get all the music out, any potential issues, and then I'll upload it to the channel. But um, I know we're going to see Grand Theft Auto V. I know we're gonna. I know we better see God of War Ragnarok. Um, I'm also hoping that all of these Metal Gear remake and Silent Hill remake rumors are true. I don't know if they are, but um, let's see what we get. Hopefully, some of the stuff you guys have been looking forward to seeing shows up. Here we go. I'm Jim Ryan, President and CEO of Sony Interactive Entertainment, and welcome to the PlayStation Showcase. At PlayStation, we believe in pushing boundaries and setting the benchmark for creativity and excellence in entertainment. We always love the opportunity to speak directly with our community. The new technology in PS5 enables development teams to build more exciting, immersive, and compelling worlds, showcasing their creative vision as storytellers. We've never been more grateful for the PlayStation community. So thank you for allowing us time to share some significant updates and brand new content. So without further ado, let's look at some new and amazing games. All right, what do we got? Lucasfilm is gonna be a Peace is Another alive. not actual gameplay, of course. Like a sequel to Fallen Order. Oh shit, Knights of the Old Republic. I'm reaching. Maybe? Nope. A new one or a uh, remake? I can live with that. Hey, remake Jade. Was it Jade Empire? Remake that one. What is this bootleg bayonetta we got going on here? I don't know if this is something new or something I'm supposed to know and I don't recognize it. That Capcom game, Pragmata, or whatever it was called. Final Fantasy. I'm gonna stop guessing on this one. I know Capcom showed a game at the first showcase where it was um, weird little Death Stranding looking thing. An astronaut. I don't know if that's what this is. If you see me sweating, it's not because I got the hoodie on. It's because the elevator is out and I had to run up a bunch of stairs to get up here in time. Why do I have the hoodie on and 
You're asking me the question. What the hell is this? I could be wrong, but it might be that game. I just can't remember the name of it to save my life. It looks like... I don't know, it looks like it could be Square Enix, but it looks like... Capcom, this looks like... Uh, something from Platinum. Very Bayonetta-like, but I know it couldn't possibly be Bayonetta. Very interesting creature design. It's definitely. And if they showed Platinum Games at the beginning, forgive me because I wasn't in front of the screen. people in the comments saying that it looks terrible. You never know what people are going to say. They don't know what they want. This is definitely nothing of what I thought this was. Yeah, I was I'm completely off. <laughs> Alright, we got something from 2K and Gearbox, which leads me to believe this is that uh, Borderlands spin-off. <laughs> Your party of heroes can't stop me. Oh, Tiny Tina, yeah. You, baby. Fun fact, I have played every Borderlands in existence. I have not finished one of them. I refuse to finish any of them until I finally finish the first one. Looks cool though, they all they all look cool. Why is everybody saying baby? I think I have enough shooters for a little while. Let's, let's get to something else, y'all. We know GTA 5 is coming up, so let's get that out of the way. I thought that was a lot closer to release. Alright, come on. Try to give you that reality show suspense. Now I'm hoping this is Final Fantasy 16, but it's not. It's the other game I want.
when they first showed this off, it was gorgeous. It's way better looking now. This might not be out to the end of next year, but I'm looking forward to this one. I'm bad with game names today, but I remember this is they changed the name to Forspoken or something along the lines. It was called something else. So let me get this straight. I'm somewhere that's not what I would call Earth. Yeah, this is definitely it. Freaking dragons. And oh yeah, I'm talking to a cop. Did I just do that? We did. I just moved it with my freaking mind. <laughs> yeah, okay, that is something I do now. I do and we got a sister starring in the fantasy game. Let's go. Oh, that's too far. Good to know there's a line. Our land sucks. You are the only hope we have. You're special. You don't want to stand on facing off with Sina. Tanta Sila is the strongest and most formidable of all the Tantas. Combat looks interesting. The great service by killing her. Yeah, force broken. I'm looking at this on the official PlayStation YouTube channel and going through the comments. So many y'all are more. <laughs> Spring 2022, that's not bad. For decades, Team Rainbow has been a shield. Oh, Lord Jesus. This is that new Rainbow Six game. This is the one game I'm not looking forward to. With the invasion and... Yeah. I have nothing against Rainbow Six, but I can live without this one. I need a break from shooters in general. I'm hoping if they do show this expanded and enhanced edition of Grand Theft Auto V, I'm changing the subject completely from Rainbow Six. I hope that they um, they actually add more to the maps and not just the online, like the single player. There's a lot of stuff that has happened, um, especially like in the Hollywood area, like on Hollywood and Highland, if you're, you've ever been there, if you're from out here. You know, it looks completely different now than the way it looks in 2013 GTA 5. So I hope they update some of the locations. Maybe add a little Long Beach so I can drive around my own neighborhood. There's a little bit of Signal Hill in there. And the bridge, but that's about it. I said all of that and this trailer is still going. Come on, we only got a 40 minute show PlayStation. Let's get something other than Rainbow Six. Epic and Remedy. Oh, Alan Wake. It's coming for me. Something I've never played. So I'm only assuming that's what I'm looking at. Stay in the light. The deer fest guests have already started to arrive. Just ran into one on the ferry. Fame I did hear them announce that they were remastering it, so. Alice? Alice? 
Yeah, that's what this is. I guess they're getting us ready for a sequel. Making sure as many people as possible can play it before that. I've been looking forward to playing it, but I didn't. I don't know where my old Xbox is. I haven't got a Series X yet either, so PlayStation is it. I will definitely give it a shot. Someone said disappointed. Why would you be disappointed? October 5th, not bad. Looking, for, looking forward to playing that for the first time. I will pick it up. Here's GTA 5. I can tell the graphics are improved, but uh, wait till we get to see the trailer in 4K so we can see it. This is all stuff we expected. Let's see what's expanded. Don't say much more, damn it. That's a cop out. They couldn't resist talking about GTA Online. Even if GTA 6 comes out on the PlayStation 5, Grand Theft Auto 5 will still be re-released on the PlayStation 6. Mark my words. It's Ghostwire Tokyo, because so this is another game I'm looking forward to. I'm glad the Bethesda deal didn't have any effect on this hitting PlayStation. really big fan of Supernatural games, so I've been looking forward to this since they first showed it, and I'm hoping it comes out before the apocalypse. I don't know what the hell that tower jump. Some Death Stranding vibes for anybody that bothered to play it. of transformation. And I'm getting really tired of this trend where horror games, you have no combat ability and you just have to run and hide. I like this, you get to fight back. At least give me the option to fight back. This should probably be Guardians of the Galaxy. Guardians of the Galaxy. You came here seeking truth. Great new trailers, but on average, there's not a lot that we didn't already know was coming out. Just another look at them. I kind of want to see some new stuff. All suffering, all grief will end. This looks like a lot better than Avengers. Still don't know if I'll pick it up though. Ritual with the priests. They kept talking about a promise. It was like 
they were dreaming. I also of wish these trailers were more Wait, gameplay than cinematics. So let's investigate for you. Always a little bit of the cutscenes. And not fun kind of ball. Hey, world mine. Long time no see. The current probability of defeating the Universal Church of Truth. Graphics are really good though. Zero point three percent. Is that bad? It sounds bad. It is. I hope you've got one hell of a speech plan, Peter. That makes two of us. <laughs> Everybody's in the comments yelling skip. We're a little over halfway through it, so hopefully the good stuff from God of War is coming. October 26. Won't be pre ordering that. We'll see what goes on. What do we got here? You notice they stopped the little things in between the little um, PlayStation symbols and they're just jumping into it now. I'm assuming Vampire the Masquerade. I've never played that game, so I've always wanted to. I just don't play games on PC. See what I'm talking about? Everybody in the comments talking about it. Is this cyberpunk? That ain't funny. Been a shortage of good vampire games since they stopped the Legacy of Kane series. Don't know if Vampire was pretty good though. Huh? It says it's coming out this year. comes out in a couple of weeks we didn't need another trailer for this in the showcase but death loop it is I am looking forward to playing this but for the showcase they better show something soon or everybody's gonna be oh I'll be so disappointed and every YouTuber, Twitter user's favorite word, lackluster. <laughs> we'll be seeing that all day. Place is supposed to be unforgettable. A bunch of spaced out science nerds, brainwashed cultists flinging bombs, whatever these. <laughs> Someone said, Can his game just come out so I can stop seeing it? Tutorial or, or whatever, but written on the building like that was cool. I will say that this graphically has come a long way since they first announced it. Still has like this minimalist look, but it's a lot better looking. Myself a way out. I also haven't finished a Dishonored game, so 
I know this isn't the same thing, but it's it's close, so I'll make this the first one I finish. Dishonored game that I finish. It would be cool if there was a way for you to play this game and not die and not have to do the loop. You have like a special trophy for doing everything right. can be what I think it is because I'm, I'm overreaching in my brain right now. Yeah, it definitely isn't. Y'all yeah, could have tweeted that. <laughs> Come on, man. Life is Strange meets Wind Waker. That's actually really gorgeous. Hope this song isn't licensed. Looks a lot like that game album that recently came out on PS5 but with better graphics. Body snatching. That's a cool little mechanic. I don't understand what the game is about, so it's just to keep you from dying or just to reach other places. I don't know what the goal of this thing is, but it's cool looking. I know my daughter will love it. PS5 has a shortage of games like this, so this is cool. Time again. We got like eight minutes. Give us a Metal Gear remake, some Silent Hill, and then God of War to close it out. Holy shit! Now I understand these are old games, but man, the remaster on that was crazy. I actually wouldn't mind playing through Uncharted 4 again. People are so mad in the comments that it's coming to PC is not that big of a deal. Just play it on whatever you feel like playing it on and move on. But also you could have tweeted that. I'm Herman Hulst, head of PlayStation Studios. PlayStation Studios, at its heart, is a diverse and passionate group of storytellers at our collective of AAA studios all across the globe. 
Everything we do is driven and inspired by storytelling. As creators, PlayStation 5 gives us the opportunity to push the boundaries of storytelling even further. Man, if you look at this PlayStation Studios have already on the actual PlayStation YouTube channel, PS5, the subtitles really can't handle his accent, so today with the, lineup of the subtitles are hilarious. Studios, we're going to continue to drive innovation and like I said, YouTube is easy. always embracing the legacy of PlayStation and creating games that matter. Games that you're not going to find anywhere else. Six minutes, homie. Enjoy. Cut to the chase. Don't need no more speeches. Oh shit, another Insomniac game. Is this a new Spider Man? Yes, it is. That was quick. Is that Wolverine? I'm laughing, but that legitimately might be him. Oh, crap. Yeah, just give Insomniac all the marble since they've proven they can handle it. Ah, Gran Turismo 7, finally. It's a no-brainer. Gran Turismo is always like one of the best looking games on whatever PlayStation console it's on. I think this is gonna be the game that showcases more of what it can do more of what the ps5 can do than any other one and then hopefully other studios will jump in and push the boundaries a little bit more but i also knew this was coming out let's go i'm getting impatient You're leaving us little time for god of war Which, if you don't show anything for God of War, there will be a digital riot. Speaking of digital, Digital Foundry is going to have a field day analyzing this trailer right here. Photo mode. Now, they say if this thing is going to last roughly 40 minutes, hope roughly means just over 40 minutes. So we have time for a couple of more things. Right now, this and Forspoken and Wolverine are my top games out of this showcase. I've seen a lot of people's predictions of what they want to see like on Twitter and like IG, and none of the stuff that people were really hoping was going to be in this showcase is here, so I know people are going to be pissed. I'm fine either way. I know this ain't got a war. <laughs> but let's see. For as long as I can remember, I have looked for an equal. One who could There we go. There's Spider-Man 2. One 
please don't end the show with Spider-Man 2, but yeah, that's dope. Man, these subtitles on here is trash. Will one of you I'm pretty sure he's gonna say he's a cold. I don't need this much suspense. There we go. <laughs> That's gonna be so dope. 2023. No wonder there was a CG cutscene. But they got all the 2022 to tease us with gameplay footage. Come on. They're not in this shit right now. Let's go. Ragnarok. <laughs> yes. Boy. Or teen. Fool carrying a whole deer on the show. Time is running out. I'm sorry you guys, I don't have hip hop gamer or anybody behind me yelling Sony or oh my god, oh my god. But it's it's here. It's in my heart. I should be out there, finding out who I am, who Loki is. Oh, rebellious teenager shit. I don't want to fight anymore. I just want answers. And if those answers lead to more, gorgeous. Maybe that's what Mother wants. Do not move, what Mother wants. Well, I'd recognize that dour expression anywhere. I don't care when this comes out, I just hope it's soon. Everything just frozen over. You mean Tyr, the old god of war in these lands, who is dead. Well, for a dead man, Odin seemed pretty Oh my god. If he's out there, we gotta find him. Come in. What in all yarns be the happen to him? We're trying to stop Ragnarok to help people. <laughs> there we go. Let's get some combat. Oh. War is not the only way. Chain moves. Stop thinking like a father for a moment and start thinking like a general. Oh. <laughs> Dad about to backslap the hell out. What's up with the X? Oh, Thor. I've been waiting to see this. There's the X. Okay, so we got some non-frozen places. We got some places. Minotaur. What the hell? A lot more enemy variety than uh, the last game. That much of a giant. <laughs> Come on, don't be too far. Well, some of them. Oh, she was talking to us. No release date. All right, more updates coming. bunch of hoes for not giving us the release date not even like a tease not even a release window all right you guys so i'm gonna end this here um for me hands down the winners of this god of war ragnarok obviously if they were going to show it that was going to be the big the big showcase piece for us um 
Nice of the Old Republic. I love that game. I'm kind of over it, but I'm pretty sure it'll be good. Uh, Wolverine, Gran Turismo, and Forspoken for me. Uh, let me know in the comments below. What did you like? Were you excited? Were you disappointed? Because I know a lot of the stuff you guys were anticipating didn't show up. But um, I'm going to look at these again, and I'll see you in the next video.